All right, guys. So today I'm going to do an update on my uh, Bantam chicken yard tour that I did. And it seemed to have got a lot of views. I, I don't really get on that YouTube channel much, but I saw it got a lot of views, so I'll give you an update. I did that video in uh, early spring. And I'm doing this video. It's late summer, almost. It's basically uh, end of July, beginning of August. And a lot of birds have got moved around. So this is that black old English that I had that I was so happy with. Uh, he went through a molt. And so you can see he's lost his tail feathers, but we're about two weeks or yeah, two months away from our show. So hopefully his feathers should all be back in in plenty of time. Um, hopefully he doesn't lose any more. Sometimes a molt can go on for a long time though. So hopefully he doesn't. He's actually still got a female, one female buckeye in there with him. But for some reason she's sitting up there. She's not really sitting on eggs. So she must be just trying to lay an egg. She's straight in there. I don't know if you can see her or not. Yeah, maybe you can. He does a lot of this. He gets nervous a lot. He's the only bird I have here that really doesn't like me, and he'd like to uh, eat my face off, I think. Over here, I have three pullets that are all just in here to be separated from the cockerels and the roosters. Uh, there's a black old English, a silver duckling old English, and a white wine dot. They all get along really well, so I've let them three to stay in here together and have a bigger cage instead of being in a small conditioning cage. Here's the uh, white wine dot cocker that we got. And he won't stay clean no matter what, how clean I keep his cage. He just gets dirty somehow. I don't know. He gets in the dirt and sticks his head in the water. And then, I'm not a big fan of white birds for that reason. I mean, they show white birds show really well, but it's a lot of work to keep them clean. Over next to him is the last of my old parts of the wine dots that I still have. I got rid of all the old females. All I have left is this one rooster here cock bird we're gonna my daughter will probably show him at the county fair here in two months that's why he's still here so when i did the video before i had a slew a whole bunch of young buckeye bantams uh i've sorted through those, those all those real young ones i had then or the <laughs> youngish ones i guess not the real young ones the youngish ones i think i've got rid of about 80 buckeye bantams and i've ended up with three cockerels and five pullets that i've kept out of that first two groups and these are them got these three cockerels i've kept this one's a little bit younger doesn't have the physical traits yet that i like but i like his color and his comb this one's coming around pretty nice he's about six months old they get nervous apparently in front of the camera but he's a good looking bird as you can see i got three of them down through here in three separate cages uh, hopefully these three will make a trip to Columbus this fall and I was showing the first real poultry show I've shown in in years is the third one I kept <clears throat> five pullets so far that's the five pullets I've kept five Buckeye Bantam pullets uh, they're all really similar in a lot of ways it was really hard to sort through the pullets because there's not enough difference in them sometimes. I mean, I can sort through the color, get rid of the ones with positive black on their hackles and the ones that don't have the gray slate bar on them, things like that. But unless you let them really, really fill out, it's hard to get a lot of good idea of the conformation of them. I tried to keep birds that had wings up, raised up high because I have a problem with my roosters, not my hens, but my roosters drooping their wings way too much. That was one of the things I really looked for this year. Uh, of the young purchase wine dots I've raised so far, I've kept three. Uh, I'll probably keep two more out of the next couple groups I got. Of the Buckeyes, I don't know how, I think it, my goal is to have 10 pullets and about six cockerels when I'm done raising Buckeyes. I've got two, two big pens of them raising out. I'll show you some of these pens, the younger ones here. Those are the goats. But give them a little bit of goat food and they'll, come, they'll all come running out.
You can see I still got a bunch of Buckeyes to grow out and sort through. There's some Wyandots, uh, Partridge and White Wyandots in there. There's some Silver Ducklings in there. Uh, these groups are really two different age groups. I don't know if you can see in the wire cage separates them. Uh, we had some rain here this morning, so it's a little wet out here. Hopefully we can sort through these and get 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 down to where I only have about five more pullets and three more cockles out of these, all these that are left. The goats then come over here and mess with the food, they're getting fed. Yeah, they do. I'll go over here. Those same birds. We've kept two partridge wine dot cockles are the ones I raised this year. Uh, they're not going to stay out here. Only one of them staying actually. One of them I decided we're getting rid of for sure. I, that one right there just walked out. His comb is not what we want. I just had to let it develop a little bit more. Uh, they're both a little darker than I want, but they are what they are. My, well, I got a few that stay in here. They're a little bit younger and they don't like to come out hardly. They stay up in here all the time. You can see. These ones, are, these ones are actually birds that were raised by hens that sat on them. And then I moved them over here in the last couple of days and they don't like to go out with the other birds. Uh, the white ones, or the white wine dot pullet, she actually raised a couple babies and the partridge wine dot's one of my partridge wine dots raised. <clears throat> well, that's an update on the Bantam poultry projects we got going on around here. And uh, Buckeyes especially, that's the big thing we're working on. So I hope you enjoyed it.